So welcome here at our office. I'm actually standing in Anya's office. I can show you, she's working over there. Hello. So you will hear her type. And I'm standing in front. That over there is my office. The clavichord is down stairs. I'm standing here before the magical white board. I'm going to wipe it all off because I would like to talk to you about something else. It's just a small brainstorm. This week we are now the 7th of February, just returned from our weekend, which was great. You have seen the video. Will be the last week of recordings of the partitas, unless something really big would happen. But normally tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, I will be recording the sixth partita and on Friday will be a backup recording session. Probably, if necessary. Um, so then the, this whole weird change of channel, that January, January, February, the channel dedicated to the recording of the partitas only, that will stop. And also the daily vlog that I will, was making and I enjoyed a lot, that will change as well. So if we have authentic sound as a YouTube channel, YouTube. I was talking about reforming, so to say, rescheduling the, the, the YouTube's channel in more project form. So for instance, we have one month or two months, maybe one month, or thinking in months would be the best thing. Let's say that's Mozart. Mozart, Munchen, Sonatas. Six of them would be too much for one month, maybe for two months, but let's say we do six of them, two months. So, if you see this as a two-month project, we could have all videos that were, would be made would be solely dedicated to those, to that composer and those pieces that are really in the center of what we are doing then. That would, could give a kind of grasp, a kind of unity around uh, what the channel is about for first-time viewers and for you who are watching this channel for a longer time it could also mean that if you're really a Mozart lover you would say well great I will grab my Munch sonatas and I will practice together with him the other thing is that to, as, along with this project now from Mozart let's say that is the net the upcoming project is Mozart Munch sonata we could say next project is we have a Clementi mount or a Haydn mount I would choose two or three sonatas or works by him that form a unity and that will go also in a project form. Then we could have new music. And music by Costas, Papas of Europolos, other people are writing music and I will be receiving a lot of sonatas if all people that connected with me about that um, are keeping up with the work that I'm doing. So we might have a new music month, the Mahaiden month, Clementi month. We might even have um, Bach will temper the clavier, which not, will be not one month, but perhaps over the course of a year, six or seven projects of one month that we have a kind of alteration. So you could say, we go to the website, there will be the date, there will be the list, I will be making that list for the next projects. You could say, well, most of this is not my thing, but maybe Bach is, yeah, when, when is he doing Bach will temper the clavier? And so, what we're going to do then is take all the videos, the formats that we have, like we have for instance the practicing hours. We did them now at I think 10 or 11 sessions live on Sunday evenings. I'm reading your questions in the chat, so you're practicing together with me. The practicing hours will be dedicated, of course, then to the Munchen Sonatas, if that's our upcoming project. Um, we're going to upgrade the practicing hours and a system with us will be detailed more in the future, not in this video, in which um, 10 or 15 people could really join the session to, you, to Google Hangouts, so we could visually see each other and talk to each other, so you would be in the live stream, in the lesson, we would create it a little bit more like a masterclass, and if you then up front would know, yeah, he's, he's going to work about around the Munchen Sonatas, I have a question for him. We, 
I will um, organizing this that it is a little bit streamlined and so that you can come in the live session we get to know each other a little bit more it's not only me talking but we are having a conversation then and we, if we have five ten or fifteen people I think I believe Google Hangout allows 20 people to come in but we have to organize it that, that if you make time for that that you also have um, time for your problem or questions of the things you want to share so we, we could kind we could teach a little bit more practical towards your problems and your things that you're facing with those pieces that i'm practicing now together with you so that's a great thing i think the practicing hours we could have rehearsing sessions and i would say such a a project would end always with a recording and the recording would be both for youtube we, i will would make a separate recording for YouTube with video um, of course obviously but separately also on tape like I'm doing now for the uh, partitas and why I'm dividing that the YouTube recording and tape because it's great to have first a production for YouTube and uh, which I will really give the best I have but it's an up step for the next recording Every recording, every focus, every moment of concentration leads to a better comprehension of the piece. And that's my feeling that what I'm doing now with the Bach Partitas is really on another level than what I have done on YouTube. Although I must say I, I, I really enjoy still the recordings I make made for YouTube. I mean, I'm not listening to that and enjoying is not a word, but I stand behind that. It's only when I get rid of the cameras and all the technical stuff that's going, that's around making a YouTube video, only the tape recorder is just pushing record button and it's running. That gives also for me a kind of liberation. And so both elements getting rid of all the technical stuff and at the same time um, being focused only on the music, having the experience of the previous recording gives a nice boost. If you're going to do both recordings in one project or that one project ties to the next project, let's say we have Mozart first month or two months, and then we're going to Haydn, let's say, that the tape recording for the Mozart might be also at the end of the Haydn project and that the official recording for Haydn might be at the end of the new music project and so that all projects are tied together. That's something I have to find out. So, but anyway, what we are doing with that, the YouTube recording will be produced within that month. So there will be live session, practicing hours, rehearsing sessions. I will be making also regular videos, doubts and decisions. So those will be recorded up front during that period. Uh, after thoughts, maybe we find another name for that, but in which I very specifically target some of the issues of the pieces we are discussing but all in that project if you come to the channel new you will notice that's about Mozart and the second playlist will be the title for the next project will be empty of course because there will be no videos produced so those regular videos like the dozen decision afterthoughts and they will have kind of weekly scheme that's something i have to figure out so this is just a brainstorm with you together now um so that this whole is a unity that's really important and leads eventually to a recording on tape that can be released on cd or final records whatever we decide to do and that's nice for me as well that i work in project form towards a real concrete productions that we actually can sell for authentic sound. Not all productions will be of the scale of the partitas. So there will be one every year, every two year maybe. I think. So then within this project form, we will have longer series. Like for instance, the CPE Bach in pieces. I am about to start at maybe April, May. I have to prepare it a lot, but let's say on Wednesday, the CPE Bach in pieces. So also there a clear path towards the production because that will lead to a project on its own in which we are going to discuss the proper sticker and record that and that will be our next vinyl big box project with the book uh, my view on CPE Bach. 
that's in, that's going in between. And then we will have um, this daily vlog. Will be not a daily vlog anymore. It would be too much. Um, I enjoyed this very much this month, but in fact, by increasing the numbers of videos as I did now, it was kind of easy as well because the live streams they didn't need to have much editing. And these vlogs, what I enjoy, I've said that a lot of time, what I enjoy so much is just that I can give you my self, my true self, without the really deep in-depth research element. I can say to you in those vlogs what I instinctively want to say and what I think about the music. I could say that I instinctively think Bach wrote the partitas for clavichord and I will explain you then why without having to study five years on all sources and make proofs and comments like that. So I think that's important to have this kind of opinion vlogs maybe two times a week. Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Saturday. And there will be random videos, of course, like with the, with the videos on the family that I show you. But that would be a kind of framework. The vlogs, and that's the last thing, does the vlogs, they would target a specific problem. So as I say, that I would address in a more personal way without really going to the library and source point. All the things that I state is just my way of working and my true self. They would be related to the mailing list. The mailing list I will put a lot of work in in the coming months because I think the, that's my platform. You know, YouTube is YouTube's platform. I have to deal with watch time, with session watch time, with all the things that they think are important in order to get some exposure. And, but the mailing list is my platform. I control that. And if you are a musician or an artist, you have a mailing list, you know what I'm talking about. So the mailing list will tie into those vlogs in which I will um, bind them together. The mailing list will describe it as a text and the vlogs will be um, spoken, of course. And most of the time, I think the vlogs will inspire the text so that the mailing list gets a, gets a life on its own. That's... And very messy magic whiteboard now. I'm going to wipe it off and trying to draw it again and make it clearer and clearer so that we from April, maybe March, there is an over, um, there is a time that is needed to make this all happen and make it very clear for the coming two, three years, I think, direction of authentic sound. I like the idea of project uh, form very much. I hope you do too. Um, if you have watched this video up to now, I would really like to hear and read your comments. Um, certainly also on the practicing hour with the live Google Hangouts. If that would be something that would be appealing to you, John, that we have a kind of really master classes um, and can speak to each other and even can listen to your playing it. If that would be something I would you want to bring up. So anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing as always, and see you next time again. Bye.